A News 4 update. Missy's Comics Shop is working to clean up the damage done by a fire over the weekend. News 4's Mackenzie Foster is at the storefront to tell us what it's like today. It's still a sad scene here at Missy's Comic Shop. You can still visibly see the damage from the fire, and you can also still smell the smoke that came from the fire, and it happened Saturday and today's Tuesday. However, the owner, staff members, and lovers of comics are all coming together to deal with the tragedy together. It's just gut-wrenching to, to know that it's it's all gone. A store well loved by fans of comics and collectibles went up in flames over the weekend. The owner and her team couldn't believe something like this would happen. My first reaction was no, it, it, it can't be Missy's. Missy's can't be on fire right now. There's there's no way. Missy's comic shop used to hold comics and memorabilia, but after the fire, most of those comics and memorabilia are gone, along with Missy's main source of income. I, I'm devastated for her because this was this was her whole life. This was this was everything for her and her family. The next step for the store is to clean out the damage from the fire. Right now, the staff is looking for products that haven't been damaged to resell. The entire front end is there's nothing left. Um, all of that was a complete total loss. The back end, uh, we still got a, a bunch of comic books that were luckily protected. They are grateful for the support the community has shown them during this devastating time. We see the messages, we see the comments, we see the love, we feel it. It, it means the world to us. As of now, Missy's Comic Shop doesn't know where the next storefront will be. Now I did reach out to Missy and she said she was too devastated about the incident to do an interview. But the official spokesperson for the shop, Sean Cherry, tells me that pre-ordered customer orders were not damaged. In Dothan, Mackenzie Foster, your hometown news leader. Mackenzie Foster, thank you. A reason for the fire has not been confirmed.